When Hurricane Ike made landfall last year in Texas, nearly all of the weather instruments failed. Now, the ones that continued to work were part of a new network of hurricane towers. And as Mish Michael shows us tonight, the network is now expanding to our coastline. The lighthouse at the entrance to Situate Harbor now has company. Hey, is lightning rod secure? Yeah, it is. But make no mistake, this is no telephone pole. Well, this is uh, a custom-designed uh, pole. It's hurricane hardened. It actually uh, goes 13 feet below ground level. Taught by weather instruments able to take the full force of nature. This is the anemometer vane, which mm -hmm. is actually rated up to 224 miles per hour. David Morris is Weatherflow's Hurricane Ladies Network Coordinator. Coated. This is one of 100 stations. This is actually the northernmost station mm -hmm. in the network. A new network stretching from Massachusetts down to the Gulf coast installed by a hurricane research team You're good to come down. so there isn't a lot of data uh, from landfalling hurricanes most instruments fail during major landfalling hurricanes like Ike but not the new towers we have seven stations down in the Houston Galveston area uh -huh. Uh, and they all recorded perfect data sets throughout the entire event. Key data for utility companies and the insurance um, industry. Right now, and in Situate, the town plans to use the new weather data too. It's important because Situate's involved in the coastal inundation study. Vin Kalicious is with the town of Situate. It's very important to, you know, the police, the fire, and as well as the harbor master. We have a very active small boat harbor here. A welcome addition to town. Mm -hmm. Very welcome addition. Installation of the entire network will be complete by next week, awaiting what this hurricane season has to offer. In Situate, I'm Mish Michaels, WBZ News. Now, in addition to the tower just installed in Situate, there are also hurricane towers now operating in East Ham on the Cape, on the harbor in Vineyard Haven, one in Buzzards Bay, and one farther inland located in a cranberry bog in Taunton. And when you see that map of them all the way down the coast, yeah. that's the kind of information, I guess, that comes in pretty handy. Yeah, absolutely mm -hmm. does, yep. We can use anything we can get at this point to help us protect ourselves from that. You know, it's inevitable we're going to get one because the longer we go without getting a storm, the better the odds go up. So right. we need all that we can have. And what get. we have right now isn't technically a storm. It's just a little <laughs> blip on the radar. It is just a little blip. We have to keep that in mind. Compared to what could be happening right now, it's really not that much. But compared to what happened last year at this time, well, check it out yourselves. We were in the midst.